Hey guys, Fortuna here with Beatrop today, and in this video we're going to look at three tools that you should already be using if you're a Live 10 suite owner. So, let's get into it. The first tool we're going to look at is called Saturator, and I'm sure many of you are already using this to give your sounds a little bit more dirt and more bite, but if you haven't already, let's check it out now. So, go to your browser in Live, and under Audio Effects, let's go to Saturator, and drag that in front of your instrument. Now, the main parameter we want to work with here is the drive. This will give us more bite and more dirt to our sound. Now you see it's sounding a little bit brighter and louder, and it is actually a great tool to bring your instruments forward in the mix. It's a great tool to brighten up instruments that lack a little bit. You notice that sometimes if you have a dark sound and you're trying to brighten it up with an EQ, it's not going to work so well sometimes, and maybe a saturator is just what you need. Now, one problem that we have with saturator though is that if you go too far, we start clipping at the master here or on your channel. So, what we want to do is turn on soft clipping if you'd like to control your dynamics a little bit more. Then we can now keep distorting, keep overdriving your sound without clipping at the master. Now this is really handy for taming down some of your instruments in your track. Now let's be more specific here with the saturator and just drag it onto our snare. It's going to double click that, open that up. So we have our snare sample. And where's our saturator here? Let's reset that to zero. Again, I can do the same thing. We have our soft clip on. And as we turn up our drive, saturator is such a nice tool to have for controlling your mix and brightening up your dynamics. Not to mention, if we actually go in here in this menu under the analog clip, click that, there's all these different waves that we can choose from and start clipping in different ways. Now, I generally stick with the analog clip, but just for sound design purposes, we have such amazing tools in here that we can work with to start modulating and controlling our sound. The next tool we're gonna look at is called Convolution Reverb, and this is not exclusive to Ableton Live, but Live 10 Suite comes with a great unit called Convolution Reverb that we're gonna use today to add some space. So, let's check it out under our Max for Live devices here in the browser. Go to Max Audio Effect and find the Convolution Reverb unit in there. If you don't see this, you'll want to make sure you have this pack installed called Max for Live Essentials. It's an easy way just to make sure that you download that, install it from Ableton's website. You'll be good to go. Now, with Convolution Reverb, you have a lot of different presets to work with. So, let's go to one of my favorite presets here. It's called BM7 Vienna Hall. A little bit lower here. There we go. Now, with this loaded, let's take a listen and play with the dry and wet. What you'll find is actually that the convolution reverb sounds really natural, really nice, and this is because we're actually using impulse response waves. These are essentially real waveforms or real captures of that acoustic space. This allows us to combine sounds in your computer with sounds from that actual space by the process of convolution. Now, you have some parameters in here like adjusting the decay, the size, the pre-delay that will affect how the reverb sounds. We even have an EQ to work with to start changing some things around. Now you'll notice that the reverb quality here is really natural, really organic, and that's what makes Convolution Reverb so powerful. Let's check out some of the other presets. So let's check out this BM7 West Church. How about we search for something else? Let's try Smoky Alto Plate. Ah. This is a good one. Very large cathedral. Now you can replace your preset just like any other live device. So we can click and drag, replace our preset just like that. But what I also like to try is exploring some of these other spaces with this menu here. So you can go to type and we can check out real places. We can go to the impulse response list. And we can check out St. Patrick's Church here. 
What's also interesting though with convolution reverb is that you're not limited to only using reverb type of sounds. And when you go to experimental here, you'll find a lot of interesting stuff here. So let's try this uh, strange echo, for example. Sounds especially interesting if you drop it on a single element. So let's drop it on our snare here. We can try another one of these experimental ones. How about the reverse and tail? I personally love the Convolution Reverb, but you give it a try and be the judge. Now the last device we're going to look at here is called Pitch Hack, and it's actually part of the Creative Extensions pack from Ableton Live, so you can check it out on their Ableton's website, download and install that one, make sure you have it in Live. You can find it under Max for Live, Max Audio Effects, scroll down to the P, here we go, Pitch Hack. Now, we can open up a variety of presets here and check it out, but for this demo, I just want to load the basic one in there to check out what it's all about. Now, Pitch Hack is a really interesting tool for a variety of reasons, but for the sake of this video, I just want to focus on this reverse knob. Now, to hear it, let's turn our dry and wet to 50% and start turning this up. We can change the rate as well. So you can imagine that very quickly, this becomes an interesting rhythmic tool to warp and mangle audio. In this case, with drums, it's really satisfying, but again, you can apply this to anything, whether it's melodies, vocals, and so much more. Beyond this, we can obviously change some of these other parameters, like the pitch of the signal. And even this interesting recycle function. And there we go. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to follow our social media for some updates. But until next time, we'll see you then.